Cloudy skies on this Saturday morning ahead of our next weather system that will bring a wide variety of factors to New Hampshire. This one set to bring rain, snow, flooding, depending on where you live. A lot of us will wind up seeing some periods of steady rain and downpours developing later this evening and through tonight. There could be some pockets of minor flooding, especially in central and southern New Hampshire, but up north and especially up in elevation, there will be a period of heavy, wet snow, and we could be talking about several inches of that snow for some in northern New Hampshire. The wind does crank up overnight. The combination of wind plus heavy wet snow means we could be talking about power outages for some and then tomorrow the risk for coastal flooding as an astronomically high tide could spell problems for places like Hampton and Seabrook. A lot of moisture sitting off to our west this morning. This all moving in our direction and as it bumps into slightly colder air over us here in New England, that's why we could be talking about a period of some wintry weather. Cloudy skies today and it's somewhat mild as temperatures get back into the lower half of the 40s this afternoon. Showers begin to increase in coverage and intensity later on this evening. Here's how things time out with Futurecast all day today. It's just kind of cloudy. There could be a stray mountain flurry or snow shower. But the real deal with this system will arrive at some point between about 7 and 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, for higher elevations, we will initially see some wet snow mixing in. It is mainly rain, Manchester, Nashua over toward Rochester and the coastline. But even central zones will see a flip from snow to rain overnight tonight as warmer air pushes northward. At times, it will be pouring rain overnight tonight with some downpours likely in southern zones and along the coastline. Heavy, wet, thumping snowfall likely for higher elevations farther north and west, and that will continue into Sunday morning. It looks like the highest snow totals will be confined to the White Mountains and the North Country, whereas the rain tapers off in central and southern zones late morning into early afternoon. There will still be some lingering mountain snow showers into Sunday night and Monday. A winter storm watch in effect for parts of Grafton, Carroll, and Coas counties, and that is, of course, where we are expecting the highest totals. Some parts of the White Mountains, the Mount Washington Valley and along the 16 corridor into the Great North Woods could see over a half foot of snow and locally over a foot of snow, especially up in elevation. Along the 93 corridor, it's likely less snow from Franklin and Tilton right up through Plymouth and Lincoln, but you get on the other side of 93 towards some of those western summits in the Mount Musilock area, the Cardigan Mountain area. That's where there's the potential for close to a half foot of snow, much lighter totals, especially in the lakes region and just about nothing along the 202 corridor and point south and east. Here's a more zoomed in look at our snowfall forecast and you see where we have some of the higher elevations, especially in the eastern slopes of the White Mountains. That's where we could have over a half foot of snow, likely lighter totals in some of the valleys and surrounding some of the lakes in central New Hampshire. In Plymouth, we go to bed tonight with really not much happening, but by midnight there's a couple inches of snow on the ground and in time for the morning drive to tomorrow, there could be close to a half foot of snow in a place like Jackson, though significantly more snow because it's a little bit colder there and a little bit higher in elevation by one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We could be looking at a foot of snow on the ground in and around the Jackson area. Central and southern New Hampshire under a flood watch. This includes Southern Carroll County, Belknap County, and all points south and east, where there's the potential for one to two inches of rain, but the bigger concern with flooding will be along the coastline. Coastal flood watch in effect for areas like Portsmouth, Newcastle, and right down to Seabrook, and it's all centered around a high tide that comes in just before midday tomorrow. This could produce moderate coastal flooding. Probably not the same level of coastal flooding that we saw back on January 13th, but still there could be inundation along some of the low lying areas along Route 1A and Ocean Boulevard in Hampton. There could even be a little touch of minor coastal flooding with the high tide just before 11 o'clock this morning. So watch out for that as well. Winds could turn gusty in some of the western slopes of the White Mountains overnight tonight, and that could spell a few isolated power outages. It does turn breezy behind this system tomorrow as winds kick up out of the northwest, and that will fuel more mountain snow showers tomorrow night and into Monday. Tuesday, it turns much brighter with much warmer temperatures in the extended forecast mid to late week.